podcasts. There's something for everyone. Whether you're into pop culture, self-help, or just weirdly interested in serial killers, there's probably a podcast for you. But what is truly interesting is that different types of podcasts create different reactions in our brains, and podcasts engage us and build trust unlike any other form of media. To understand this relationship, Spotify partnered with NeuroInsight in the largest ever neuroanalysis of music and podcasts of its kind. The first thing they found? Compared to other forms of media, podcasts hit the sweet spot of being more engaging and memorable without being emotionally overwhelming. The thing that audio has over other content is you can consume it while doing other things. I think it's something that you can kind of go on autopilot, then your mind can engage in what we're talking about. When you're listening to true crime podcast, your brain kind of shuts off all the emotional engagement you can have to protect yourself. But you're listening to information, so your brain is really wired to capture information and listening to stories and words. The second thing they found? Podcast advertising on Spotify drives 16% higher ad engagement versus norms on all other media. This is because of trust and the intimate nature of podcasts. Listeners trust the host, and that trust transfers to the ads. Podcasts are the best medium for advertisers because we have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with every single person that listens to our shows. Last but not least, the study found that different podcasts generate different neuro responses. For example, podcasts like The Journal by The Wall Street Journal drive high engagement and detailed memory with its stories about people. Light entertainment and comedy podcasts like Armchair Expert with Dak Shepard activate our global memory centers, triggering our past memories and layering on new associations. Self-help podcasts such as Unlocking Us with Brene Brown drive really high emotional intensity. True crime podcasts for murder aficionados like Serial Killers evoke a low emotional intensity but a high impact on memorability. And sports podcasts like the Bill Simmons podcast provide an easy listening experience, offering an overall well-rounded neuro response. Understanding these differences as an advertiser is important to ensure your message lands. Each podcast comes with a certain mood, and if we can actually align advertising that comes with the mood of the podcast, that allows us to get access and higher transference from the engagement of the content into the advertising. To be effective, advertising should match the mood and tone of the podcast. High intensity or high BPM music beds might be too jarring. Second, speak in their language and keep it natural and conversational, just like a podcast. Lead with host red ads if it's a new product or brand to establish an emotional connection. But regardless, use words and phrases written expressly to speak to that podcast audience. Digital audio is really taking that impact and that, you know, the role of audio to the next level. So it's really telling a lot about us as humans and what sound can provoke in us and how it can very, you know, be leveraged by advertisers to really have that meaningful connection with, with their consumers. Check out the full Sonic Science report on ads.spotify.com.